recent years, micro-aerial vehicles such as quadrotors and small helicopters have received a large gain in popularity. It is a lot of fun to cruise around with them, fly air races and play games. Moreover, if the quadrotor has an integrated camera, you can use it to create breathtaking stunts and to take aerial pictures from above. For example, when you go skiing next time, why not take a quadrotor along to film your record-breaking ski run? Hello, my name is Daniel Kremers. I'm a professor for computer science and mathematics at the Technical University of Munich, and I'm heading the chair for computer vision and pattern recognition. Hi, my name is Jürgen Sturm and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Computer Vision Group. In this course, we will introduce the basic concepts for autonomous navigation with quadrotors, including topics such as probabilistic state estimation, control theory and path planning. Autonomous flight is the key to the success of flying robots because piloting a quadrotor manually is difficult. Currently, navigating a quadrotor requires a skilled human pilot and constant supervision. Manual piloting is exhausting and can easily lead to dangerous collisions with the environment. Moreover, the pilot needs to maintain continuous eye contact with the quadrotor, which limits the range of possible applications. In this course, you will learn how to program an autonomous quadrotor to infer its world state from its sensor readings, how to create a map and how to localize in it, and how to navigate along a series of waypoints. The course consists of a series of weekly lecture videos that will be interleaved by interactive quizzes and hands-on programming tasks. To follow this course, we recommend a solid background in linear algebra and 3D geometry. The programming exercises will require you to write small code snippets in Python to make a quadrotor fly in simulation. We took special care that the code you will be writing will be compatible with a real Parrot AR drone quadrotor. So if you have understood the theory well and solved the exercises, you will be able to run your code on a real quadrotor afterwards. I hope that we got you interested in this topic. Join us for an exciting course on autonomous quadrotors. Sign up now!